Mesdames et messieurs, His Royal Highness le Dauphin. Your Grace, how is your grandfather, our beloved son King? Still in bed, refusing to die. Your Royal Highness, Mesdames et Messieurs, it is with great joy that I have accepted this duel against Maître Cire for the title of Greatest Harpsichord Player of France and therefore of the world. Let the best man mean that is uh, <laughs> win. the best you can do for a man. <laughs> Now it's my turn. As I said, this year never really was a contest. I'm the greatest in the world. Dear Maître Marchand, I wouldn't speak too boldly if I were you, because uh, when I was ambassador to His Royal Highness Frederick Augustus, Elector of Saxony and King of Poland, I've heard stories about a man who dwarf even your astonishing abilities with the keyboard. Lord <laughs> Ambassador! Let me tell you that I've been invited to play in Dresden by the very same King Frederick Augustus. And I can assure you, I will demonstrate there once and for all that your researches merely come from rumors based on envy, not on fact. Then I pray that you are right, Maître. I shall go to Saxony, and I shall defend the honor of our immortal King Louis and the honor of France. Vive la France Master Marchand, I must admit that you soundly defeated Master Warwire, the best harpsichord player at my court. If it pleases you, I'd like you to stay here in Dresden as my new musical director. The kindness of your Royal Highness knows no boundaries. Very humbly, I'd like to accept your extremely generous offer. Have you received a letter, love? Yes, from my Flemish friend Jan Bullmeier, musical director at the court of Dresden. Ah, yes. He's come to dinner here once. How is he? Apparently not so good. He's been dismissed from his duties as musical director in favor of the French keyboard master Louis Marchand. Uh, never heard of him. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend, though. Uh, 
if that Marchand's just as arrogant as a person as he is in his music, then I understand Jan's disappointment very well. Apparently, Marchand's going about telling everyone that he's the greatest keyboard player on earth, blah, 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 and the king's fallen for it. Jan's asked me if I'd like to come to his aid by challenging Marchand to a duel on the harpsichord. And will you? Of course I will. And I'm going to teach that arrogant frog a lesson in humility too. Director, sir, I've received a letter for you from Master Bach of Weimar. Bach? And who the hell might that be? Another incompetent scout who is begging me for a position in my orchestra? C'est pas vrai! <laughs> what is it, Director Sir? Can you believe it? This bug <laughs> wants to challenge me on the harpsichord. <laughs> well, I have to admit that this little paysan has some nerve. Good! <laughs> Tell him that I accept. I shall empower the king at once. This is going to be great fun. <laughs> Excellent idea, Master Marchand. We'll schedule the tournament for next month. Have you already invited the man who challenged you? Who is he again? Bach, a young man from Weimar, Your Highness. Should be interesting. A small local man, the perfect underdog. You do realize, Master, that he'll have the audience on his side. Doesn't that scare you? Not in the least, uh, Your Highness. I always like to give my adversaries the impression that they have a sporting chance. <laughs> Confident as always. I like that. Well, you may announce that I will offer a prize of 500 thalers for the winner. We'll call it the Jewel of the Century. France against Saxony. How does that sound? Most appropriate, uh, Your Highness. Uh, and if you allow me to say so, I feel infinitely graceful for your generosity. <laughs> I had to pay the driver an extra fiver, otherwise he would have stopped for the night in Wilsdruff. Yes, it's been pouring down like this for a week already. I'm sorry that we have to accommodate you in these poor lodgings, Sebastian, but uh, the main wing is still being rebuilt after the unfortunate fire of 1701. You call these poor lodgings? I've never seen so much luxury in my life! <laughs> this is nothing compared to the French court in Versailles, I can assure you. Still, the king insisted that we make you feel as comfortable as possible. I think that he's secretly on your side, though he'll never admit that publicly, of course. I'm sure that you also appreciate practicing on this harpsichord by the Italian genius Cristofori. It looks like a true masterpiece, much more stylish than its Saxon counterparts, if it sounds just as beautifully as it looks. Rest assured that it does. Please, make yourself at home, and if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to address one of the servants in the corridor. I have to go to Master Masha now, but we'll catch up later for dinner. Thank you, Jan. He said that he couldn't wait to try the Cristofori. Oh, did he? Good, that'll be all. I have no more need for you, thank you. Qu'est-ce que c'est Oh mon dieu
Master Walmire, where is Master Marchand? We're all waiting for him. Uh, Your Royal Highness, uh, apparently he was seen taking a coach yesterday evening. I'm afraid that he's inadvertently returned to France. Returned to France? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. That pusillanimous French rat! What are we going to do now? All of Saxe and his finest are here to witness the duel of the century. What a disgrace! Perhaps uh, Master Bach would like to entertain the audience. He's incredibly good at it. Very well, I don't think we have much of a choice. <coughs> um, Master Bach, with, with deep regret, we have to inform you that you seem to be without opponent. Master Marchand has um, suddenly returned to France. Yes, we're terribly sorry, but in order not to let the evening go to waste entirely, we'd like to ask you to be so kind to indulge us with your extraordinary play nonetheless. I'd be honoured, Your Royal Highness. With your permission, I'd like to start my performance by improvising a four-voiced fugue on a theme of your imagining. Improvising? A four-voiced fugue? Is that possible? I'd like to try, Your Royal Highness. If you propose a theme... A theme? Um, let's see, um, C, D, E, F, and so on. C, D, E, F, and so on.
Congratulations, Maestro Handel, for your exquisite performance in your duel against Maestro Scarlatti. Oh, but it was a fair draw, madam. He was clearly the better man on the harpsichord, but I might have had the edge on the organ. How would you, Maestro, feel about doing another contest? I'll never say no to a good challenge, madam. Against whom? We have heard about this man in your Saxon fatherland, a certain Bach. Against my good friend Sebastian? Uh, no, thank you, madam. That wouldn't be a contest. That would be a humiliation. <laughs>